What's up, y'all? Exciting day today. Cyberpunk 2.0 has dropped the big update prior to Phantom Liberty that changes most of the systems in the game. I have the patch notes up on screen here. If you wanted to take a look at any of it, I will scroll through and leave some up there for y'all. Here's the first three. Pause it if you wish. Here's the second three. Pause it if you wish. We're going to jump in and have a look at it all. I recorded some B-roll yesterday of the original 1.0 styles, so I can overlay that when needed to talk about the differences. I wanted to do something kind of prepping us for Phantom Liberty because I think we have to redo our builds and stuff now. I'm going to be using the same file that we did our base Cyberpunk playthrough on, and we're just going to go right into the DLC content. We're not going to do an entire replay, but we do have some side missions and stuff that we can include as well. Oh, Victor's calling? <laughs> what up? We'll listen to him first. <laughs> well... Some implant soft updates just hit the streets. Completely fresh batch. Oh, so they're, this, is, this is just introducing us to the update, but like canonically in game. So he's got some new stuff for us. There's a lot of new stuff for us everywhere. Whoa, already? Okay, the journal is entirely different. I'm not going to lie. I find this a little bit harder to navigate than it used to be, but I'll get used to it. It's just new and fresh. It's just new and fresh. Anyway, let's take a look at the character tab. Due to significant changes in gameplay mechanics, your perks have been reset and your perk points have been refunded, allowing you to rebuild your character how you like. So, I never really showed the build in the past videos, y'all, because if you've played Cyberpunk, you know that the build system was kind of scuffed. Each individual perk kind of just gave you little tiny stat boosts and things like that. I've probably had the B-roll up on screen of it at the moment. Um, it was rough to use. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a little bit, rebuild the character, and hopefully end up with something that actually resembles a build. Let me tell you, CDPR put out a build guide recently to help you when it comes to rebuilding your character, and I suggest maybe giving that a look. I did not, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I like this though. The build tree is a lot cleaner than it was before. The individual boosts to each perk are way more clear and better. I like that a lot. <laughs> Damn, man, I can't stop sneezing. But the question is, what do we want to use? I love shotguns, so let's build towards rip and tear, I guess. This is such a vast improvement. This actually feels like you can build towards something where before it just felt like a mishmash of perks and it was very unguided. This is really something because this ability lets you just dismember somebody if they're at low health. That's messed up. We're definitely getting that though. I'd love to have like a berserker type of build. You know what I mean? I feel like that's kind of how I play. We're just going to build this all out. Whatever. We're also going to do a lot of regen because I feel like regen is something that I generally need. We spent all our perk points though. This is what we're mostly doing. Gaze upon it. I'm building into shotguns and I'm building into tanking as many bullets as possible. We paid a little bit of attention to the SMGs, but we did not really spend any points on anything else. This is a lot more focused than it used to be. I like it a lot. Very nice. There's an actual capacity for how much cyberware you can carry now. And most of your armor is dictated by the cyberware as well. Looks like you got to have a balance of stuff. I can upgrade most of this old stuff so I don't know it's giving me little alerts saying that we should upgrade it so I think that we are probably going to go to a ripper dog first and foremost and see what we can do about our cyberware uh, the weaponry doesn't seem to have changed that much how they're displaying it definitely has changed though there's a lot more information on here than there was before or at least it is presented in a much clearer way clothing literally is nothing except for aesthetics so you can pretty much wear whatever you want because all the armor is handled by cyberware now it no longer matters all that matters is the cyborg i like that a lot i mean it was nice looking for different armor pieces and things like that for sure but this just seems a lot better you can change your look a lot more freely i don't think i missed anything else in that we've respect our build i don't know if it's going to be any better or worse i am also over encumbered so i need to empty my inventory really quick how much crap am i okay wait a minute we're gonna cut past this i'm gonna go empty out my inventory since apparently i couldn't prep myself for a video properly oh whoa did they change how the vehicles feel? This is like, compared to last night, this is like driving in an entirely different game. That's weird. It's so much better. They changed that, right? They had to have. I'm not just dumb. The car actually feels responsive and not like I'm driving through three feet of mud. Y'all, this feels good. Ooh, ooh, driving actually isn't going to be a chore anymore. CDPR, thank you. Let's get this inventory empty. I know I said I was going to skip forward, but I, I was really caught off guard by how good the vehicles felt. That was weird. Yo, there's actually like a reason now to come and upgrade stuff and have crafting materials because you can upgrade the tier of your cyber mods. Okay, well, I'm just going to sit here and upgrade for the next little bit until it tells me that I can because this is, I mean, why not? This is the stuff we were playing with anyways. Basically, if you're playing on an old save, stop by a Ripper Dog first and upgrade everything and buy something new. I bought one new thing and that was the blood pump. And I purely bought the blood pump because we got a skill that uses the blood pump for something. We are going to go check out an auto fixer terminal because for some reason I don't remember if that's new or old. Provided my car can figure out how to get up here, which it doesn't look like it's going to be able to. Where's that guy going? What are you... <laughs> 
<laughs> what is the AI doing? What's going on? I thought y'all said y'all improved the AI. That car, I guess that car accident did look pretty realistic, but... <laughs> This wasn't even supposed to be a funny video, man. I was just here to spend a few minutes showing y'all setting up for Phantom Liberty. <laughs> oh, well. Can everybody stop crossing the road? I need to go down here. Why would you back up into the car, bro? Oh, well, there's a lot of cars available here. I mean, I can only buy some of them. I think I also get a car later on because I pre-ordered Phantom Liberty. I'm sure that comes out with Phantom Liberty, though. I'm gonna buy this freight van for no other reason than I want to try it out. Where's my new van? I wish to drive him. That's a fantastic van. That's gonna be a great way to rein in Phantom Liberty. This is exactly what we needed for that series. I want to give the combat a shot, especially with our new build, because I feel like it might be a little bit better. Oh yeah, this feels great. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy. Stuff does feel better. There's definitely more goonies out here too, and they're fighting a little bit less dumbly. Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to blow your arms literally off. That perk does dismember people. I also don't know if this will change when Phantom Liberty drops because I know that they said it is pretty hardware intensive, y'all. Like, they put out a warning saying to check your computer's cooling systems before you played. But this is running well. I'm having less issues with it generally than I do with Cyberpunk. I guess that's it for now. It seems really promising. I'm really happy with the stuff that the patch added in and I can't wait to get to explore it more. I would love to explore it right now, but that would kind of kill the point when we're about to play through an entire DLC together that's apparently quite large in its own right so we will save it for that but i'm really looking forward to it i hope that you're having a good week and i will see you early next week for phantom liberty peace